Hello everyone, Zcore here. Um, now, this video is a couple of minutes late because um, I made a video about one year ago called Before the Buff Macmillan CS5 and <laughs> I'm finally getting around to making the follow-up video of, of that one as the name would apply. And if you couldn't tell, I was supposed to um, take a look at the gun before it was buffed and then take a look at it again to see uh, how effective it is post buff but uh, it's gonna be a little hard to do that now because um, everything else in the game has sort of changed too uh, as far as like armor goes and everything else um, but fret not do not be worried um, we do have the final stats and the final state of the gun so I can sort of cheese my way through uh, what was supposed to be a two-part comparison and sort of give you guys uh, an impression and, and sort of overview of how this gun is and how it works today. So that's what we'll be doing. Now this was supposed to be a live commentary, but <laughs> my dumbass uh, had the wrong mic selected in my recording software. So now I'm here uh, 10 attempts into recording the audio for a post commentary um, <clears throat> video on the Miller. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be calling it because that's what the original name was. It was called the Miller AP6, and that's what I'll be sticking to. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be going over the stats. Uh, I'll be talking about the gun a little bit here as well because I think a lot of people might not be familiar to this gun if they're newer to the game. Uh, then covering the stats and then sort of pulling a little conclusion out of our discussion. Yes, out of our discussion over this gun and, and the stats that it harbors. Yes, I'm using big words today. That's that's what sort of type of day today is. Um, now, this gun used to be the second meta sniper rifle. The first one was uh, AWN, that was like uh, back in the Ice Age. But then, uh, up until the Renaissance and the Dark Ages, this gun was what you would see in everybody's hand uh, wherever you went. Um, but then I'm pretty sure it, got, it started um, phasing out uh, when the uh, Scout and the X-Ray started getting popularity. And then by the time the Kraken and newer armor pieces became a thing, this gun was just... It, it never existed uh, to begin with. That's wh what it was reduced to. Um, and what was I going to say? So yeah, now it's sort of like a relic of the past, an ancient relic that you find in like the Maya ruins. The Mayan ruins. Mayan? Yeah, I think that's Mayan, probably. Um, so you sort of have to go out of your way to uh, pick up this gun and, and sort of find it being used. Although they did give it to a lot of people, I think. I think most people have it because uh, back in the day it used to be available for Warfist Dollar Random Boxes. And I'm pretty sure it was tar part of the Top Gun event uh, at some point. Um, so I think a lot of people have this gun, but it's just sitting in their inventory, collecting dust and uh, making a good home for the spiders. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at why that is so. Why is this gun in the hands of spiders and not in the hand of players? Uh, so to start off, it has a standard damage of 350, which I thought was normal. You know, 350, that sounds right. Every sniper has that, but no, apparently... Uh, nowadays snipers are having more, uh, having higher damage, higher base damage. Uh, what you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I saw that the Bushmaster and I think it was the SV98, they had 378 damage. So if that's the case and all new snipers are starting to get released with higher dam base damage to begin with, then this gun already is, has lost its edge, um, even without looking at the other stats. But we're gonna see. Don't 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 be fooled. This gun gets even worse. I mean, I say worse, but the gameplay so far so it might give you the wrong idea. It's not a bad weapon per se. It's just that if you decide to use this gun, your 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 opponents are clearly gonna be are clearly gonna have an edge over you if they decide to use I don't know the Kraken, the SV98, any other newer sniper, and you'll see why. Um, now the second most important stat for sniper rifle at these bolt action arguably is the rpm and that's where this gun sort of shines and what uh, redeeming feature it has 
it has the highest RPM out of all bolt, bolt action sniper rifles, I'm pretty sure. As far as I could see, none of the others had anything close to it. Um, and what that RPM is, is 54. Now, the closest I could find, as I said, was below this at 50 for, for example, the, I believe, the Kraken and the Scout. So that's f uh, four points of difference. I don't know how how much that's noticeable in the game, but you'll see this gun is like, by the, t by the time you just think of shooting once, you've already shot three shots at someone, you know? It, it, it's crazy fast. Um, and that um, sort of helps mitigate for the fact that it has low damage. But um, if you're knocking people down, how how much does it really matter if if you you can hit your shot follow up your shots super quickly uh, depending on the game mode uh, like if it's round based maybe but then if you're get, you, you just be getting like multiple knockdowns and if it's a non round based then uh, you're just gonna die to somebody else if you uh, the shots that you get are knockdowns um, but again you can see in this gameplay it's pretty strong it's just that as I said. Um, you're gonna be feeling that uh, it, it's it can be improved, it can be better. Um, so that's the RPM, very great, the best in the game as far as I could see. And then we get to the minimum damage, which is also uh, bad relative to newer snipers at 270, whereas for I think the Bushmaster and the SV90A was 295, 285. Uh, and then the multipliers, which are at 5 for the head and 1 for the rest of the body. Whereas newer snipers have 5 for the head, but higher multipliers for the rest of the body. So, for example, um, I think it, it was the Bushmaster had 1.08 for the rest of the body. And then you have a monster like the fucking SV-98, which apparently has a 1.3 multiplier for the rest of the body. So, um, the SV-98's bullets are going to be hitting like a tank with this gun in comparison. Well, 1.3 is 0.3 is not that big of a difference, but given how armor is like changing up and getting stronger nowadays, you're gonna feel that difference. And <clears throat> I've, uh, as you would expect, and as I've heard from people, you're gonna be getting knockdowns with this weapon. Um, so yeah, again, uh, sort of a damage to the, a blow to the damage of this weapon, <laughs> damage to the damage of this weapon. And last thing uh, that's, I, I guess, probably the most important is the art, uh, the zoom and speed of this gun. Um, I'm using the um, the short range scope here, and some of you guys might be disgusted and throwing some tomatoes at the screen or something. But um, as you s probably saw when I had the fast scope on, this gun is pretty quick, but it is not as quick as uh, your typical quick scope sniper rifles. So what I'm talking about is like the speeds that you would expect out of like the Scout, the the extra way with its default scope, the Kraken, all those guns, and especially the SV-90 actually, speaking of more relevant weapons, um, those guns have at least 120 uh, milliseconds for the zoom in speed, uh, or at best 90, 91 for like, um, I think it was the, the Scout and the SV-98. So if you're used to those weapons and your playstyle is a quick scope playstyle. When you switch to this weapon, you're gonna have a bit of a uh, a bit of a journey adjusting to the speed and how quickly this weapon adjusts um, becomes accurate when you scope in. For me, it's not a problem because I am a drag shotter. I, I zoom in and then I move my aim a little bit before shooting, so it's not a problem for me. But I know a lot of people prefer quick scoping and that's their playstyle, so you might have a bit of adjusting to do too. So. That's that's a, a shortfall. Shortfall. The gun has has is pretty weak when it comes to both zoom and speed and damage, and the only good thing about it is really the speed. Um, but with with how powerful, how crucial the first shot is with snipers, and how uh, powerful armor is getting, and depending on the situation, as I said before. Um, it's better to just go with any other sniper rifle that has higher damage, higher uh, zoom and speed, more... Um, actually, it has a lot of bullets in, in each mag. It has 10. So, actually, yeah, that's probably something I should mention. It has 10 bullets, so that's also a redeeming feature. Um, I should probably have mentioned that sooner, but 
I still don't think that's enough to make up for uh, how it performs compared to other sniper rifles. So overall, uh, again, like as I said, it's a very, very strong and powerful sniper, but I would still say you're better off using uh, other snipers that are more recent. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I know there's also another lost child called the uh, Scar H, which got the same treatment as the Miller um, and is, is still waiting for a follow-up video. So hopefully I'll, I'll get around to making a video on that weapon as well. Um, but for now, this is going to be it for the Miller uh, or the Macmillan CS5. I hope you enjoyed. I know all of you guys were just waiting for that fill of uh, Miller videos and Miller information, but finally it's here today so you can sleep in peace. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.